32 year old man presents to your free clinic complaining of bullet formation on his forearms hands and face again age is 32 year old man formation of the bullet on his forearm hands and face he is an intravenous drug user and has not seen a physician for years so this is very important he is a intravenous drug user very important buzzword for our case he tells you that he had similar problems as a child and that his brother has similar skin issues so something related to hereditary on physical examination you note a small white plaques interspersed among fluid filled vesicles and bullet over his face hands and forearms the patient had recently become homeless and has been spending more time in the sun the neurologic examination is completely benign besides ordering a series of laboratory studies including tests for the hiv and hepatitis you also decide to order studies looking for elevated porphyrins in the urine you advise the patient to continue to return to the free clinic believing that his skin condition can be treated with repeated phlebotomy this is a very important clue in our case in the exam they don't give you that you advise the patient to continue to return to the free clinic believing that his skin condition can be treated with a repeated phlebotomy so what is the case of this age is 32 year old intravenous drug user so what are the clue words over here 32 year old man and here there is no abdominal pain but there is a bullous formation typically on the forearm hands as well as in the face and the physical examination you know that the small white plaques so these are also very very important that the small white plaques interspersed among mm -hmm. fluid filled mm -hmm. vesicles so it is the porphyria cutanea tarda so porphyria cutanea tarda is an autosomal dominant disorder characterized by the deficiency in hepatic i'm repeating once again hepatic urodecarboxylase deficiency in hepatic urodecarboxylase and urodecarboxylase is the enzyme which is involved in the heme biosynthetic pathway and it is responsible for the conversion of the uro porphyrinogen 3 to copro porphyrinogen 3 when the hepatic uro decarboxylase is defective there will be accumulation of uro porphyrinogen 3 results in the deposition of excess porphyrins in the skin not only the uro porphyrinogen 3 one will also accumulate like that coproporphyrin also will accumulate like this porphyrins get accumulated in the skin but typically uroporphyrinogen 3 as well as uroporphyrinogen 1 so excess porphyrin deposition in the skin we know already that it is responsible for the formation of oxygen free radicals which can damage cells lead to photosensitivity same problem so again in the porphyria cutanea tarda there will be a cutaneous photosensitivity as evidenced by fluid filled vesicles and bullet over sun exposed areas of face the dorsum of hands and feet forearms and legs these are the areas i'm repeating once again when we talk about uh, the clinical manifestations the patient exhibit cutaneous photosensitivity as evidenced by the fluid filled vesicles and bullet over sun exposed areas of face the dorsum of hands and feet forearms and legs so often small white plaques like milia will precede vesicle formation so this is called as uh, milia small white plaques and other skin manifestations include hypertrichosis hyperpigmentation and skin thickening remember in the porphyria cutanea tarda the name itself says that it is cutaneous in nature there are no neurological manifestations in the porphyria cutanea tarda and as i mentioned that all the porphyrins are accumulated and uh, they are elevated and they are excreted in the urine lab findings 
are evident with uh, elevated porphyrins and slightly elevated amino level in acid but remember one very important point in the porphyria cutanea tarda pbg level is normal pbg level is normal whenever you see the lab value pbg level is normal then go and immediately mark that it is porphyria cutanea tarda and there will be slightly elevated delta amino level in acid levels but chiefly elevation of uh, uroporphyrinogen 1 uroporphyrinogen 3 coproporphyrin all this elevated porphyrins in the plasma pbg porphobilinogen level is normal that's the reason porphobilinogen we said that it is a neurotoxic because it is normal no neurological manifestations and urinary ala is slightly increased that's it so not significant enough to cause neurological or neuropsychiatric manifestations there's a reason the patient exhibit mainly cutaneous photosensitivity evidenced by the fluid filled vesicles and the bullous formation over the skin exposed areas are typically seen in this case now what is the treatment repeated phlebotomies why we are performing because it is a treatment of choice mainly to reduce hepatic iron repeated phlebotomy to reduce hepatic iron and low dose chloroquine and stop use of alcohol iron supplements and uh, all these like uh, all of which can exacerbate symptoms so this is what is the treatment but generally examination point of view what you need to remember is repeated phlebotomy is considered to be the treatment of choice because to reduce hepatic iron and remember homeless man is important and you are also performing tests for the hiv as well as hepatitis you order test for that because remember the precipitating factors are hiv and hepatitis can precipitate symptom onset the presence of any one of these can precipitate symptom onset we don't know whether this patient has hepatitis b or not or hiv is there or not but as a note hiv and hepatitis can precipitate symptom onset is the porphyria cutanea tarda